So, you want a Steam Deck, doesn't everyone, but you can't get one. Pre-orders, they're stacked up to the moon right now, so good luck with that. But, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make your own DIY Steam Deck. So as you can see, I'm running GTA 5 on my phone, and you might be wondering, well, how is that possible? Well, the game's not actually running on my phone, so in order to make this work, what you're going to need is a gaming PC, of course. You're gonna need two pieces of software, Steam, which you probably already have, and Moonlight, the game streaming service. So the game is actually being run and rendered on my computer, but the video stream is being sent over the network wirelessly to my phone. And what I've got here on either side, this is the Razer Kishi, but any Bluetooth controller will work. And if you don't have a Bluetooth controller, that's fine. You can also use on-screen controls. As far as this controller goes, you literally just plug it into the phone. For Bluetooth controllers, in this example, a DualShock 4, the pairing method is as simple as well. Go to your phone settings and make sure Bluetooth is turned on and pairing is enabled. And make sure your controller is in pairing mode. Then connect the two via Bluetooth. After your phone is connected via Bluetooth, either streaming app Moonlight or Steam Link should both recognize your controller automatically. The rest of the setup is going to be on the software side, so let's go take a look at that now. So, of course, the first thing you'll want to make sure is that you have Steam installed and any games that you'd like to stream, go ahead and have those installed too. That'll make this process easier. Then we'll want to go ahead and open up GeForce Experience, which if you don't have this app, it's available for anyone with an NVIDIA GPU. We're going to head to Settings in the top bar here, click on Shield, and make sure Game Stream is enabled. Also, for some of you, uh, this automatically worked for me, but if you get into the Moonlight streaming app and you don't see any apps available to stream, the easiest thing to do is to click add down here in the GeForce window, navigate to where your Steam install is. For me, that's this PC, local disk, program files x86, then Steam. And you'll want to click on the Steam EXE application. It just says Steam and application under type. Click open. And that will allow you to stream Steam in big picture mode, which will use your controller for opening games and whatnot. Once that's taken care of, open whatever browser you like and search Moonlight. Go ahead to moonlight-stream.org, scroll down, and click download under Moonlight for PC, Mac, and more. Then you'll want to click on the Windows Installer Universal. Go ahead and go through the setup process like you would for any other application. I'm not going to do it because I have already installed it. So after we've got Moonlight installed on our host PC, what we're going to want to do is go to our client device, in this case my iPhone, go to the App Store, and download this app called Moonlight Game Streaming. Once that's downloaded, let's open it. It's going to ask us a couple prompts. Click OK. Now you want to click on your host computer. And you should receive a prompt to enter a PIN code on your host computer. So I'm going to do that now. Press enter. And after that, that's pretty much it. You should be connected from your host computer to your client within the Moonlight app. So let's test it out. Let's see if it works. Click on Steam. And there we go. Now we have full control of our Steam library on our phone. Pretty cool. So that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, the only other thing I can think to mention is that you're going to want to make sure your host PC and your client device are on the same network. There is a way to stream games from your PC to your phone outside of your home network. You'll need one additional piece of software. I'll have a link to that in the description below. I'll also have links to all the other software that we use today. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope it worked for you guys.